Hey, hey everybody, this is day two of the April Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So you might see in the intro that I try to do that perfect handstand. Uh, I have a link below on basically my first video on, on, on my one of my other channels. Um, basically, uh, please, please, you know, hit the but like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all those buttons. Uh, but also, you know, hit, hit a subscribe on that channel if you like. But basically, if you have seen some of my other videos, then you know that sometimes I get into some comments, uh, hopefully motivational stuff, sometimes tech stuff, sometimes interview stuff, and just like mindset stuff, right? Um, yeah, so I kind of try to take that into its own video so that I, I don't repeat the same things over and over again. But the handstand video is, you know, uh, the, the perfect handstand is one of my... Um, favorite things to talk about uh, like in terms of trying to think about setting reasonable expectation so definitely check that out it's a very short video I, i'm still trying to figure out you know some how to you know i'm still working it out i'm still learning i'm still trying to figure it out so definitely check that out give me feedback and let me know what you think um yeah <clears throat> and if you're curious about the perfect handstand video uh or, or you know because i make reference to it in the past definitely check that out all right, let's take a look at, at today's prom, and also today we'll do an extra premium prom afterwards. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you're you know wanting to check that out. Two hundred five isomorphic strings. Given two strings S and T, determine if they are isomorphic. They are isomorphic when if the characters in S can be replaced to get to T. Okay. I think mean, this is a good example of a couple of things. Uh, just about edge cases is one. But yeah, but basically they do tell you all the rules. So orders have to be the same. No two characters could map to the same character. But it also means that the reverse is true, right? So yeah. So here the idea would be um, just to test that out, right? So basically maybe we have a lookup. We have a hash table, we have a reverse lookup, also a hash table, right? So, yeah, so then now for uh, SC, uh, TC for character, I don't know, in SIP of S and T, right? Uh, if SC not in lookup, then lookup of, oops, FC is to go to TC, right? So basically, this is saying that for every time a character S or a, a character that's an S shows up, we want we and we don't see in the lookup table, then we set it right. But then now, if TC not in reverse lookup, then reverse lookup of TC is equal to uh, SC, right? So then now we we set these things up, and then now we can so that we can just do a simple check, right? With lookup of SC is not equal to TC or lookup of or reverse lookup side of TC is not equal to SC, then we return false, otherwise we can return true. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully. Yeah, let's give a submit. Hopefully we didn't miss any edge cases. And yeah, uh, I think the, the key thing to note, I mean, there are a couple of ways you can implement this for sure. But the key thing to note is that, you know, for example, in this case, I mean, I think the examples are mostly good. Right, so there are really only two cases where you can, or like things can return false, which is something like f of o of ar, and this is because o maps to a and o, o maps to r, which is no no good, right? And then the other way that you can mess up is that like maybe you have like f, or just the other the opposite, right? Bar is equal to foo, that means that you have a maps to o and r maps to o. That means that multiple characters a mapping to the same character. So as long as you kind of keep track of these two things and here we do do this, then this should be good. So what's the complexity here, right? This is going to be linear time. You have to look at each character at least once. So it's always going to be linear time uh, at least unless there's some way you don't have to look at every character. Uh, and in terms of space, it's going to be O of alpha where alpha is the size of the alphabet because lookup could only contain 26 letters. It's always reverse lookup, right? So pretty straightforward in that sense. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Perfect handstand. Click on the links. Uh, but yeah, stay good. Stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.